2001 Correct Craft Aeronautique. Boat that just came in is in amazing condition and we're happy to have it for sale with 703 hours on the original GT40 engine. This is sitting on an original uh, uh, single axle trailer from Ramlin in black. Hall bottom on this is in dark red. Kind of unique. Uh, around this time, you didn't really see a ton of boats that had a colored hall bottom. Um, and this just being in a classic black and red and white color scheme looks really sharp. Has a spare tire. Has um, flight control tower, flight clips, a custom bimini top and some aftermarket tower speakers from Roswell that has a center light bar and then red lights on all four speakers. Um, also has a custom snap-on cover to go with it. Trailer has, uh, will have new tires on it. Super, super cool is that these graphics are original. Look at that. Uh, cannot get these anymore. They are the chrome finish. Air graphic, aeronautic graphic. And they're in really good shape. Got a little nick on this side, right there in the chrome, but otherwise in good shape on both sides. Gel coat is really, really nice. Um, really one of the only things to point out was there was a nice scratch right here. Two inch long, three inch long roughly. Uh, that we did some wet sanding on, um, and you can see a little bit of remnants from that. Walking around the boat, again that starboard side's in great shape, you got a crash pad on the trailer for the bow stop. There's a couple little nicks here and there in the rub rail, but nothing super offensive. Um, and the gel coat is super nice on this thing. We tuck down here, you're gonna see a couple a couple light scratches here and there. Uh, this one right there. These up top, which I'm gonna assume are probably just some, some small light rock chips just from going down the road. But uh, nothing abnormal for a boat of this age. This graphic here, little mark right there in the A. Trailer's in good shape. Steps and uh, carpet are all in, in, in good condition. Coming around the back, there's a nice chrome uh, Nautique logo on the transom. That Nautique rub rail cap in the center. Single exhaust. And a teak platform. Let's pop up into the inside. Check out this interior. All right, so silver cloud all throughout. Has uh, black accent piping, and then our dark red accents, as you can see. Overall, the interior is in pretty good condition. Um, these high traffic areas on the back have a couple little things to point out, including on the sun pad where we have um, the split right here in the vinyl. This sun pad is starting to kind of show its age or feel its age where the vinyl is starting to get a little bit hard and firm, which makes it a little bit more prone to, to splits and cracks. You also have one in this inlay here for the, uh, uh, the hatch lock. Um, it's gray carpet that's in an awesome shape all throughout. So let's go ahead and hop inside and check out the interior of this Aeronautique. Um, back seats. Seat bases are starting to separate here along this seam. Um, you're going to see maybe a few little cracks down in between the seats on the back here. They aren't too bad. Uh, really the worst of it is going to be these seams on the corners. Right here and here. And then again, kind of down in between, a couple little seams starting to split. Center cushions in good shape. Um, our seat back across the top just has a little bit of wear. 
It's from people nicking it in and out of the boat. You can see where a vinyl patch has been done here at one point in time. Um, but overall, that, that seat back looks pretty good. Let's open up the sun pad. Check out the back compartment. A little bit of storage back here, which is nice. You can see there's a couple goodies. There's the cover. Got some docking lines and bumpers in here. Uh, a couple of spare parts, belt, and a couple other things in there. Um, but it's nice to have that little storage space. Reorganize the boat and find a good spot for, for that stuff. And you can throw a wakeboard or two in there if you get creative with it. Um, there are four interior speakers for the stereo. So you've got one and two, three, and right to my left here, four, along with the Roswell speakers up top. These are kind of interesting. I've seen these on maybe some older aeronautiques, but these actually swivel on the outside. Engine hatch is in excellent condition. We'll go ahead and sit down and I'll flip this open too. Storage netting is all intact on this uh, port side. There we go. There we go. And there's our GT40. So this will have fresh service, fluids, filters, and impeller. We're also doing a steering cable on this boat, but it runs super strong. We actually did have it on the water already. Uh, really the only thing it needed. Uh, was a steering cable. So we're gonna do that, get this thing steering nice and smooth. And um, yeah, just a clean, just a clean boat. 700 and some hours, they used it. They took good care of it. I'd rather see a boat that this, this age, it's been used and maintained. Um, love seats in good condition, I mean, nothing to really point out on this thing. It's looking really good. And then coming over here, before I go any further forward, we do have the optional jump seat that's included with the boat. You can kind of put that where you want, but oftentimes you'll see it behind the driver's seat uh, or up there in the center, but it makes it a little easier to walk to the front when you move it over here to the side. So it's a good spot for it. Underneath here, just some more storage space. You see, I got some life jackets jammed in there right now. That communicates all the way up into the front. And then if we open up the ski locker, got good storage for a ski down in there. Actually, you could fit a bunch of skis in there if you wanted to. There's that. Sitting at the dash. Got our keyless ignition on the left. We have the switches over here for our lights and tower speakers. Um, but it's pretty cool. This does have original gauges. Um, are the original style gauges. These were replaced a year after the boat uh, was sold. These are 2002 gauges, we're in an 01 boat. Uh, silver surround would have been for 02. So those were replaced, but you have the digital um, tack and speedo, which do work. And in the center, we have an uh, aftermarket uh, stereo head unit has been added when the um, tower speakers went in. Otherwise, uh, we've got our little ballast things here. This does have just a stock ballast system. This is super old school uh, with the valves down here behind the driver's seat. Uh, I'd be surprised if these gauges worked. If they don't, we're not fixing them. Just FYI. Uh, only holds a couple hundred pounds of water, so it's not probably the most important bit of information that you could have. Uh, there's a depth finder down there. You kind of like the carbon wrap on the throttle handle. Um, we will be deleting this head unit and running everything through uh, the new one on the dash. So that'll just be an empty plate. This goes out the door. And before we wrap up the video, coming up into the bow. Nice playpen seating up here in the front of the Aeronautique. Final's in pretty good shape. Uh, you can see a patch that was done here. And then there's a tiny little tear right here um, on the inner part of that uh, forward cushion. But otherwise, everything's in good shape. There's also another uh, heater outlet here. And I didn't mention before, but there's uh, a heater outlet down below as well. Um, pretty much covers it.
Nice Larian Antique. Runs great. It's in good condition. Has some nice features with it. That Bimini top and some speakers. And uh, make a great family boat. So hit us up here at N3. If you have any questions on this 2001 Air Nautique, reach us at 317-845-9253. Thanks for watching.